then, dearie? <laughs> I'm surprised a moral being of your grace has not been asked to dance yet. Seems as though all these fine lords and ladies are blind to ignore somebody as refined as you. <laughs> oh, I can feel just how attractive you are, even with that little mask, dearie. This particular composition is one of my favorites. As you don't seem busy at the moment, may I ask for this dance? May I take that as a yes? <laughs> Delightful. Have you ever been to such a splendid dance before? I must say I quite enjoyed my first masquerade. But this one... <sighs> well, the company I had prior to you was quite... boring. <laughs> I did find it somewhat amusing to judge people on their body language and aura rather than their looks. Don't you agree, my dear? <laughs> I could be a monster beneath this mask for all you know. But if I was, I probably wouldn't be so confident, right? <laughs> you might never know. In today's time, people have become even more superficial, it seems, only judging others on how beautiful they seem according to ever-changing trends. <laughs> Isn't it boring to only talk with those who can afford beauty? <laughs> I've seen too many volatile trends in my time. They come and go. One day you must be flush and healthy with long, full hair, and the next you must poison yourself to look as sickly and thin as you can. <sighs> must be such a hassle to constantly appease those with unreasonable standards. So that's why I love these dances more than anything. Now your charm is what sets you apart, not how slim or wide your face is. Of course, that will never truly be out of the picture. There will always be fit clothing and the color of skin peeking through the costumes. But I feel as if the masks do make a difference. I truly believe that those who do not follow every beauty trend know that their value lies not in appearance, but in grace, intelligence, kindness, and courage. Not simply just a face or a body. Well, that's not to say you aren't beautiful, dearie, but I do believe you would be just as enticing in any shape you choose. But who am I to judge? <laughs> I apologize for my rambles. I'm sure this is not what you agreed to when I asked you to dance. So I take it you don't mind? <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying my company nonetheless. It is truly a pleasure to share this delightful music with you. Your dancing is quite excellent too, dearie. Your elegance is simply ethereal, and if I had to guess, I'd say the rest of you would be too. <laughs> uh, you look like you're beginning to enjoy yourself a little more, dearie. Yes, I can tell you're smiling more than before. Just standing around watching the others dance stiffly does sound unenjoyable. Your dance is much smoother than theirs, much more elegant. Doesn't it almost feel like we're floating around the ballroom? You are truly intoxicating, dearie, and that perfume of yours is quite divine. Such a sweet and alluring scent, though that could just be how you naturally smell. It's quite tempting, I must admit. <laughs> oh dearie, you look positively flushed. Should we step outside for a moment? You'll be able to catch your breath there. The air is quite thick in here. Shall I accompany you? Splendid. Let's go then.
Hi, this is the fourth time I've recorded this outro, so I don't know if I'm going to say everything I need to say, because I don't even remember what I've said at this point. Um, you know what? I'm just going to start counting off the points on my fingers. Okay, so, um, I said last week I would be uploading a script that I wrote myself, but I looked at it, and I did record it. I have the recording, like, sitting on my laptop, and then I decided no, because I'm not good at writing scripts, so yeah, no. No, that's not happening anymore. I'm done. Yeah, that, I'm bad at this. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep using scripts I find online because, you know what? This is what I choose to do with my life. Um, I actually did record another entire different audio I was going to use. But then I got really personal and I decided, no. So, yeah, no, I'm not trauma dumping in an audio. It's not happening. So that one's also going to stay on my laptop. Um. I cut this one off because I got, like, rather sultry towards the end, and I don't do sultry. I am a little coward. Um, as an ASMR p- person, I'm not- I'm not re-recording this outro. It's not happening. This is the fourth time I've recorded this. I'm not re-recording it. I guess ASMRist is the word I'm looking for. Um, as an ASMRist that I am very- that I'm a fan of once said, I've never been more uncomfortable by myself, in my own apartment. Because guess what? Even just, like, that one little bit sultry line was, like, very uncomfortable for me. Yeah. I don't, I don't do sultry. Anyway, it is 3 a.m. on Saturday. I need to edit this, and I just realized my foot is numb. Because I record in my closet. Yeah, my foot is completely numb. Anyway, yeah, I need to edit this, because I need to go to bed, because I need to get up at 7 for work. And who knew? Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I might cut out that one part. So if there's a weird cut, just so you know, I said something that I decided I didn't want to say. So we'll see how I feel about that when I edit this. Bye-bye. See you next week. If I can click the stop button.